Hi, I am Brithan Robin of class 10C. I want to explain about the agriculture. First, I want to say about the learning outcome of agriculture. Two thirds of its population is engaged in agriculture activities which provide livelihood. Agriculture is the primary activity and produces most of the food and food grains that we consume. It produces raw materials for our various industries, example cotton textile and sugar industry. Agriculture has different types of farming, primitive, intensive, commercial farming. India has three cropping seasons, Rabi, Karif and Sai. There are different types of major crops in India. Non fruit crops also play an important role. Agriculture plays a vital role in the Indian economy. Over 70% of the rural households depend on agriculture. Agriculture is an important sector of Indian economy as it contributes about 17% of the total GDP and provides employment over 60% of the population. These all are the things I studied by doing this PPT. Agriculture is the science and art of cultivating plants and livestock. Agriculture was the key development in the rise of sedentary human civilization or by farming of domesticated species created food surpluses that enabled people to live in cities. The history of agriculture began thousands of years ago. Modern agronomy, plant breeding, Agrochemicals such as pesticides and fertilizers and technological developments have sharply increased yields while causing widespread ecological and environmental damage. Selective breeding and modern practices in animal husbandry have similarly increased the output of meat but have raised concern about animal welfare and environmental damage. Environmental issues include contributions to global warming, depletion of aquifers, deforestation, and the biotic resistance and growth hormones in industrial meat production. Genetically, modified organisms are widely used, although some are banned in certain countries. The development of agriculture enabled the human population to grow many times larger than could be sustained by hunting and gathering. Agriculture began independently in different parts of the globe and included a diverse range of taxa, at least 11 separate centers of origin. Scholars have offered multiple hypotheses to explain the historical origins of agriculture. Studies of the transition from hunter-gatherer to agriculture societies indicate an initial period of intensification and increasing sedentism. Examples are the Natufians and culture in Levant and early Chinese Neolithic in China. Then wild sands that had previously been harvested to be planned and gradually came to be domesticated. Different forms of farming. Subsistence farming, shifting agriculture, Plantation agriculture, intensive farming, dry agriculture, mixed and multiple agriculture, crop rotation, and terrace cultivation. Explanation of different forms. Substance farming. Majority of farmers in the country practice substance farming. It is characterized by small and scattered land holdings and use of primitive tools. As the farmers are poor, they do not use fertilizers and high yielding variety of seeds in their fields to extend they should do. Shifting agriculture. In this type of agriculture, first of all, a piece of forest land is cleared by felling trees and burning of trunks and branches. After the land is cleared, crops are grown for two to three years and then the land is abandoned as the fertility of the soil decreases. The farmers then move to new areas and the process is repeated. Dry paddy, maize, millets and vegetables are the crops commonly grown in this type of farming. 
facilities like electricity and irrigation are generally not available to them. Plantation agriculture. The plantation farming is bush or tree farming. It was introduced by the British in 19th century. It is a single crop farming of rubber, tea, coffee, cocoa, species, coconut, and fruit crops like apples, grapes, oranges, etc. It is the capital intensive and demands good managerial ability, technical know-how, sophisticated machinery, fertilizers, irrigation, and transport facilities. Intensive farming in areas where irrigation has been possible, the farmers use fertilizers and pesticides on all scale. They have also brought their land under high yielding variety of seeds. They have mechanized agriculture by introducing machines in various processes of farming. Agriculture is an export oriented agriculture. Dry agriculture. Dry agriculture or dry land farming may be defined as the practice of growing crops without irrigation in areas which receives an annual rainfall of 750 mm to 500 mm or even less. Mixed and multiple agriculture. Mixed farming is referred to as cultivation of crops and a raising of animals simultaneously. The multiple farming is used to denote the practice of growing two or more crops together. Crop rotation. This refers to growing of number of crops one after the other in a fixed rotation to maintain the fertility of the soil. The rotation of crops may be complete in a year in some of the areas while it may involve more than one year's time is others. Terrace cultivation. The hill and mountain slopes are to cut from terrace and land is used in the same way as in permanent agriculture. Since the availability of flat land is limited terraces are ma made to provide small patch of level land. Soil erosion is also checked due to terrace formation on hill slopes. Cropping seasons Rabi So on October to December Harvested on April to June Wheat, barley, peas, gram, mustard, etc. Punjab, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand, and Uttar Pradesh. Carif crop sown in June to July, harvested September to October. Rice, maize, jowar, bajra, tur, mung, urat, cotton, jute, groundnut, soya bean, etc. Assam, West Bengal, coastal regions of Odisha. Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and Maharashtra. Side crop sown and harvested March to July between Rabi and Karif. Seasonal fruits, vegetables, fodder crops, etc. Most of the northern and the northern western states. Physical factors affecting the growth changes of moon. Climate is moderate and humid. Temperature 20 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. Rainfall moderate. Wind speed 12 to 40 km per hour.